Hey everybody, this is Jen Thompson from Granite Health and Fitness and welcome to Summer Body Hit Workout Number 6. This one is called Lucky 7s and let me tell you why I named it Lucky 7s. I get to go to Vegas this weekend. The first thing I think of when I go to Vegas is winning on the slot machines, right? So every set you have today, you've got three movements, you're doing seven reps of each. So seven, seven, seven. Your sets are seven minutes long. And for that seven minutes, you're gonna do those three movements, seven reps of each, as many times as you can. Now, the goal is to get as many rounds as you can in good form in that seven minutes. After the seven minutes is up, you get a minute to rest, and then you move on to set two. There are four total sets in this workout. With that, you don't have to, have to go back to any of the sets ever again. So once you've knocked it out, you are done with that set, and you just get to move on. This is a no equipment workout, so you don't need anything except for a timer, set seven minutes of work, and one minute of rest, and a little bit of space, and I think that means that we are completely set up and ready to go. Enjoy the workout. in this workout. Our first set, we have three movements. Our first movement is a snowboarder jump, right, left equals one. And remember, we're doing seven of everything. So a snowboarder jump, you turn slightly off center, and it's about a 90 degree turn from corner to corner. If you wanna make this one more intense, you're gonna focus on going low and high. So low in the squat, high in the jump. If you don't want any impact on this one, you can squat, walk in, squat. It'll still be a corner to corner, right, left equals one. So it'll take you a little bit more time, but keep in mind, you don't have to get a set number of rounds this workout. It's just until the timer is up. Our second move is an inchworm push up. An inchworm push up, you're going to stand straight on, bend your knees, walk your hands out, push up, walk back, stand up, or jump up. That's going to be your call. So jump, walk out, come back, jump up. If that's a little bit too much, you can always come down, walk back onto your knees, do the push up, and then walk back in and stand up. The great thing about an inchworm push up is it actually helps utilize those upper back muscles, which are tough muscles to target in a body weight workout. So that's the way we can bring in that upper back to get some work in this one. Our last move in this set is a wide mountain climber. Now we've done mountain climber before where the knees come right into the chest. This one you're gonna set up the same, shoulder right over the wrist, but you're gonna drive the knees out to the side rather than straight up the middle. Right left count from one. If that's a little bit too much, you can come down to the knees and do the same thing right there as a modification. You're focusing on feeling that pinch right in the obliques. That is our set one. Moving on to set two, three movements. Set two, we've got block shot jumps, burpees, and tricep push-ups. So block shot jump starts by dropping low into the legs, keeping the chest up, and making sure the knees are pointing out in line with the toe. And shooting up like you're blocking a shot. Now, a couple things with this one. You feel tweaking in your low back, any kind of pulling right there, reduce the range as to how low you're dropping. Also, remember, your dropping needs to come from the legs and not from dropping your head and shoulders. So if you're gonna get low, you're gonna get low on the legs. If you can't get low on the legs because you have maybe a knee issue, no worries, just don't go quite as low. And if you don't wanna jump at all, come up on the toes to take that impact out. Our second move is the burpee. You're gonna come down, shoot your legs back, jump in, jump up. So we've done burpees in our other workouts, this one is a totally traditional burpee. With that, if you want to take all that impact out, you're gonna come down, walk back, walk in, and stand up. Keep in mind, if you just do not like burpees, you can pick a movement in place. There's something maybe like squats would be a great option, and do those seven reps. Our last move is tricep push-ups. I'm gonna go side on so you can watch where my hands go on this one. <laughs> when we're doing tricep push-ups, 
We want to make sure that we still keep our shoulders down low and that we're not shrugging to go. With that, you want to have your hands and wrists come right below your chest line and then drag that up out of the back of your arm. Come down, come up. Great modification for this one. We just need to take it to those knees. But you're really trying to find that low shoulder position. The higher up they go, the more you start running that risk of having some stress come into your neck, which is not what we're trying to exercise. We're trying to work the back of the arm. That is the three movements in that set. So now we're on to round three. Checking out our three moves for this set. This is a fun set. So you've got a frog squat jump, mountain climber. So with that, you're gonna come down and you're gonna jump the legs in, then climb, climb. Jump in, climb, climb. I'm gonna turn side to make sure you can see that from this angle too. Body is long, jump in with knees close to the ground, jump back out, climb, climb, that's one. Jump in, climb, climb, that's two. With this one, if you want a modification, you can go to just mountain climbers. Right left is gonna be one. If you wanna try and get that frog jump, but you don't wanna do the mountain climber, you can do the frog jump. Hold a second, frog jump, hold a second. If you want to do the frog jump, you don't want to jump. You can also walk those legs in and out. So anything where you're bringing those legs in is going to have a very similar effect. Our second movement is a lateral squat jump, right left. So hopefully right away you can tell this set's going to take a little bit more time to get through. Right, left. And it's a two foot takeoff, two foot landing. If you don't want to go into an impact move, you're gonna do a squat, right to left is one. So that's our second move. Our third move is a 180 burpee. So with the 180 burpee, you come down to your burpee, jump up and around. The good news is on this one, every burpee counts as one. There's no front, back as one. Every single burpee counts. If that's not an option you wanna take, you can do a regular walking burpee and then step around take out that impact. We are through three sets. We have one more set to go. Lunge, lunge, tuck is our first move. So you're gonna do a lunge, lunge, tuck, jump, and that's one rep. Two reps. If tuck jumps are not your thing, you can do a lunge, lunge, squat, jump, or lunge, lunge, squat, if you wanna take that impact down. So that's our first move. Second move is an X jump. I love X jumps because they bring in a whole bunch of different muscles and because it's working the lower body, it really raises that cardio up, which is a great way of getting those calories burned while you're traveling or on vacation. Feet are gonna start wide, jump in, out, in, back, and that's one. In, up, in, back. That's one. Or sorry, that'd be two. If you don't wanna jump, you can walk in, walk out, and drop the squat. Walk in, walk back, and drop the squat. Great way to take out that impact. Still get all those major muscles working. Our last move you need to know for this workout is a diagonal push-up. So coming down into a regular push-up position, a diagonal push-up brings the wrist to the knee. So you're bringing that body almost in like a crunch. So try and get that wrist to come over while the knee crunches in. If that's not gonna be an option, you can do down the knee, push up, and shoulder tap. Instead. And on that one, every single push up would count as one. With that, you know all the movements of this workout. I got some good news for you. This workout is a little bit longer. It's 32 minutes long. So I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you don't miss a single one of our summer body hit workouts. Make sure you're subscribing so every single time we release a video, it goes right to your inbox. See you in the workout, guys. All right, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and get ready for the timer. I'm gonna be running mine on my phone so I can see it, but I'm gonna run this one also so that you can see it. All right. We got a 15 second countdown before we start off our first seven minute set. So then we're gonna start off with our snowboarder jump right left. We're about six seconds out, so the next time we rest is about seven minutes. Or anytime you need to take it. Let's go. 
One, two. See from here, it's a pretty soft landing. Seven, inchworm. Back. Once you got seven, you're on to your wide mountain climbers. One, last one round. Something can work out. Step it into a long time. Do you like me to take additional rest? In the snow, take it whenever you need it. Two rounds done. It's amazing how good of a workout you can get with no equipment, just your body. Legs are getting hot. Using three little bits like that. Put it simple and easy to remember what comes next. by the set. Best part about this move, using those big muscles, your heart rate should be going up. Calorie burn is going up with it. Oh. So that's why, when you get to this move, you have to this much body to mix it up. So 
Sevens probably sounded enormous at the beginning. We got less than two to go. You're almost there. So much fire in the leg. Be the last round. Less than a minute. How much can you give that in this final minute? from going into round two. Now, round one is done, you're never going back. So round two, let's talk about your moves. Block shot jumps, burpees, and tricep push-ups. Should be a fast moving set to begin with. It's gonna get pretty taxing cardio-wise. It's also gonna hit the legs pretty hard with the block shot and burpees. So get ready. Here we go. Remember that all of the bend comes from the legs. Seven, right in the burpees. And then right to the tricep push-ups. With the tricep push-ups, only stay on your toes if you can maintain form. Otherwise, hit those knees. That's really sick.
You gotta decide how hard you wanna push, when you wanna push, when you wanna rest. No matter what you're doing, you gotta make sure you're really focusing on that technique. All the way. Halfway there. And then you don't have to do it again. That's what you tell yourself. Two and a half minutes. Now, if you're at home doing this and you're like me, you're just hoping not to hit that pile of sweat right underneath you. Because it is dripping now. Getting so close. We got just over one minute, and then you say goodbye to these moves. In step three, we have the frog jump mountain climber. We've got the lateral squat jump and the 180 burpees. I'm gonna go ahead and come down, getting ready for that frog 
front jump down, climber. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Lateral squat jump. Right left is one. Bend the knees. Every single landing. Think out four. Keep those five. Seven. One eight burpees is our last move. One. Two. Go back in. You're in the right zone for you. Just go as fast as I can. Teet them over with as fast as I can. 
We're losing time. Here we go. Step three. Up four. Even more so. Heavy breathing, mouth open breathing, hit training. It's about pushing to those higher intensities. It's about reaching that point where you are driving yourself to get through them. There's only one round left to go. In about 15 seconds till we start. Let's make this last one a good one. Lunge, lunge, tuck. Exhale on front back. Diagonal push up. Just hoping not to slip. Last time, what do you say? Seven minutes? Maybe if I work really hard on this set, I'll win things. I'm kidding, I'm not much of a gambler. Ah! His legs are feeling it. X jump from that, start wide. One, two, Four. Oh. Your glutes should be sore tomorrow. Diagonal push ups. Push up, cross over. As soon as you're ready, you're back in. Push 
Hold. Push ups. I'd like to say it's just upper body, but a push up is total body. Core, chest, legs. Back in. I'm gonna show you a trick on this one. When the legs start to do good, two pump the clock down If we take it to a high knee run for a couple seconds, it's gonna help kind of clear things out. It's gonna make you feel a little bit better. Oh. So just line up to a point when you're ready to go again. You're almost at halfway point for time. Last step. So you're gonna make it. Just over three minutes to go. I know you're gonna make it. I don't know how. I know you're gonna make it. Because if you're watching this, you're at home, doing this on your own. You're somewhere traveling, doing this on your own. And if you have to drive, to get on YouTube, get on your back website, and play this video, then I know you have to drive to finish. We're so close. Less than two minutes. Almost there. on that. Can't give up. This close to the finish. Oh. 
that is lucky seven. Now, gotta be honest with you, I don't really believe in luck. I think the harder you work, the luckier you get. The harder you work, you earn it. You get what you're working for. If you just finished this at home, kudos to you. You earned it. You totally deserve those results that are gonna come your way. Stay focused, stay committed, and we got this thing. Don't miss this next week. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a single one of these videos. I am so proud of you. That was tough, I am drenched, but together we did it. Have an awesome day, you guys.